Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. Is Naomi Hunter good or evil? We first meet Naomi in Metal Gear Solid 1 during the Shadow Moses incident. She holds a doctorate in genetics with a specialty in nanotechnology-based gene therapy, and although she uses her skills to develop nanos that can keep deadly diseases like her own cancer in check, she doesn't focus on how this technology can improve the lives of everyday citizens. Instead, she focuses on how this technology can soup up the military. Naomi Hunter navigates the world selfishly. Her actions always self-serving. Special thanks to the Mad Cow for suggesting we cover Naomi Hunter. Heads up, this video will have spoilers for Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid 4. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Luffy and welcome to my channel. I talk video games and character analysis, so if that's your thing, subscribe and stick around. If you like what I do here, consider supporting me on Patreon or becoming a channel member so that I can continue to bring these videos to you weekly. Naomi presents as Snavit's ally both in MGS1 and MGS4, but is she really? Today we're taking a closer look at Naomi. Naomi was orphaned when she was around 9 years old during the Rhodesian Civil War. Unable to provide for herself, she almost starves to death when Frank Yeager finds and rescues her and adopts her as his little sister. Unbeknownst to Naomi, Frank was the one who ended her parents and he adopted her out of a sense of guilt. The two immigrated to the US. Naomi remembers very little about her parents, and so she pursues a doctor in genetics with a specialty in nanotechnology-based gene therapy as a way to better understand herself. She studied her own genes to learn more about her family tree and where she came from. In 1999, Frank is involved in the Zanzibar Land Uprising and is gravely wounded when he's beaten to a pulp by Snavid. Naomi swears revengeance against Snavid on behalf of her brother, though, unbeknownst to Naomi, Frank had no ill feelings towards Snavid for what he did. Naomi's strive for revenge steers her away from many of the opportunities she'd get to put good into the world. Naomi's Evil Deeds even when we've got the best of intentions, we end up being used by others for evil. Naomi involves herself in some pretty icky things throughout Metal Gear Solid. Naomi is first driven to study genetics as a way to better understand herself, though, instead of helping others in a similar situation to her, she turns to genetic experimentation. After Zanzibar Land, Frank is scooped up by Dr. Clark. Dr. Clark experiments on Frank to test how to alter a person's genetic makeup to make them super soldiers. Naomi joined Dr. Clark in her research, though she didn't approve of the experiments being done on her brother and used her position to help Frank escape. During his escape, Frank ended Dr. Clark. Naomi covered up Dr. Clark's death in the reports and then took over Dr. Clark's position as head of Foxhound's medical staff. The Genome Soldiers, as they were dubbed after they'd been altered with Big Boss's soldier genes to make them into super soldiers, were someone's family too. Why is it not okay to experiment on your brother, but okay to experiment on someone else's brother? How is it that you're okay with taking over the position of the person who was experimenting on your brother? It almost makes me wonder if Dr. Clark's death wasn't a power move on Naomi's behalf, as she definitely benefited from her death. Moving on, the Pentagon requested Naomi create Fox Dye, a terrifying virus designed to target people with specific DNA and cause them a heart attack. When Snavid was kidnapped and blackmailed into taking a mission on Shadow Moses Island, Naomi took this opportunity to alter Fox Dye. Originally, Fox Dye was trained to target the rogue Foxhound members, though Naomi altered it so it would target Snavid as well, then injected Snavid with it without his knowledge. Naomi designed Fox Dye so that it would target Snavid at random with the hope that this would force him to live a fearful life. Always waiting for the day, Fox Dye struck and ended him. Which is terrifying? We're lucky we never see Fox Dye at a larger scale because it could wipe out entire groups of people. Fox Dye potentially becoming a deadly pandemic is a fear in Metal Gear Solid 4, so way to go, Naomi. If you hadn't designed Fox Dye, Snaven wouldn't need to worry about being a ticking time bomb that upon detonation would cause the deadliest outbreak human history has ever seen. During the Shadow Moses incident, Naomi comes to understand that Snavid had to fight Frank in order to stop the Zanzibar land uprising. She forgives Snavid, though this relinquishing of a grudge doesn't erase the damage Fox Dye has done and will do. Why feel sorry now that it's too late to do something about it? Or is it not too late and Naomi's sorry, but not sorry enough to find a cure for Fox Dye? Following the Shadow Moses incident, Naomi is arrested and locked up for three weeks before Liquid Ocelot breaks her out. So maybe she never had time to work on a Fox Dye antidote? That's a little hard to believe though, as there's a nine year gap between the Shadow Moses incident and the Guns of the Patriots when she bumps into Snavit again. Are you telling me she never had a chance in nine years to come up with a cure for Fox Dye? She let Snavid live under the umbrella of terror she designed for nine years, even though she forgave him for what happened to her brother? Naomi Hunter operates under rules for thee, but not for me. She's against genetic experimentation when it comes to her brother, but has no problem altering an entire unit full of soldiers genetically. 
She's willing to help her brother and Dr. Clark, but then assumes her position no problem. Naomi thoughtlessly weaponizes genetics in a terrifying way. Naomi's Good Deeds We are given life only so that we can atone for our sins. We all must atone for our own sins. We must not pass them on to the next generation. We must not leave them for the future. Just as Naomi's work with genetics and nanomachines led her to human experiments and potentially the deadliest virus the world has ever seen, her work also led her to create a cure for cancer. Naomi, unfortunately, was diagnosed with cancer, but she used nanomachines to keep the disease at bay. Hundreds of thousands of people die from cancer every year. Can you imagine the people she could help with her technology? Not to mention other diseases that could probably be cured in a similar fashion. By 2014, the Patriots AIs had control over the US and were working to bring the rest of the world under their control. Long story short, this would be disastrous, and so Snaven and the cast of Metal Gear Solid 4 worked to bring the Patriots AIs down. Naomi helped develop Box Alive, a computer virus meant to take out the Patriots AIs while keeping important infrastructure intact. Because the Patriots AI's control was so widespread, important infrastructure was tied into their systems, so just shutting them down would have dire consequences for the world. Fox Alive would strip the Patriots AI's of their control while keeping the world functioning. There are a couple of good things Naomi does throughout Metal Gear Solid. She potentially comes up with the cure for cancer and helps save the world from the Patriots AI's. Does this outweigh her genetic experiments, though? Your thoughts. We took a poll here on YouTube asking if y'all thought Naomi was good or evil, and the majority of you voted that it was a gray area. I can totally see that. Naomi's a complicated character that does both good and bad throughout Metal Gear Solid. Personally, I don't think Naomi's a good person. The Mad Cow commented, I feel there are two different Naomi's. MGS1 Naomi has very little, if anything, in common with MGS4 Naomi. Everything she does is motivated by revenge and love for Grey Fox, her brother. She's a master manipulator that can make even Ocelot blush. She comes off as cold and heartless, but Sunny shows that deep down there is good in her. And I totally agree with Mad Cow's assessment. MGS1 Naomi is very different from MGS4 Naomi. There's a nine year gap between MGS1 and MGS4, and it makes me wonder what we didn't see that could justify such a change in her. What both Naomi's have in common is being a master manipulator, as Mad Cow said. Her slipping away from Liquid Ocelot to work on Fox Alive with Sunny, only to go right back to him, and then to end it all after Vamp is defeated, has always baffled me. The Lemming1337 commented, basing the thought from the boss's wisdom. People, like countries, can be current enemies, but also future allies, and vice versa. It depends on the changes of the times and how each person acts accordingly to their current context. I love that Lemming brought the boss's wisdom into this. If there's one consistent thing throughout MGS, it's that friends and enemies change due to the evolving times. Naomi was Snavit's enemy in MGS1, though she changes and helps him in MGS4. I love that we see the echoes of the boss's words in characters like Naomi. Lastly, Rastavoy Games and Stuff 7778 commented, A Grey Fox area. I don't have anything to add to this, I just really like the pun and wanted to include it. Naomi Hunter leads a tragic life where her desire to get revenge for her brother leads her into questionable genetic research and experimentation. She's potentially doomed the world if Snavit's fox die were ever to mutate and start to attack people regardless of their genetic makeup. Though she does also create Fox Alive as a way to save the world from the Patriots AI's control. Does the good outweigh the bad? Is Naomi Hunter evil? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so, so much for making it to the end of today's video. If you liked it, share it with someone who wants to know more about Metal Gear Solid lore. If you need more MGS content, check out my Patreon or become a channel member. I upload articles I write on upcoming videos or just thought pieces on MGS in general. Or join us in Discord, we're always talking about MGS. More importantly than that though, please take care of yourself and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Special thank you to our $10 Patreon, Nader Najat. Thank you so much for your support.